that was the beginning of uh, you know business process redesign and Six Sigma and and all that stuff. And and that works again. That works fine if you know what you're doing. If if you have a process that you can execute to build so many widgets of of uh, of something in such in in a certain time of a certain quality, then that is that is the perfect thing. But if you're, you know, designing software or if you're, you know, trying to figure out whether to, you know, make an iPhone or whether you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, you're a government uh, institution trying to adapt to a, a, a hurricane or an earthquake or, or, or something like that, that no longer makes sense. Because because you don't know what you're supposed to be doing initially, and and your outside is telling you what to do, not your not your inside. And so um, things like uh, total quality and um, and um, and six sigma don't work in emergency situations, and because because you don't know the future and you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. You, that stuff only works when you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing and how to make a certain product. So redundancy was always looked at as a, as a very bad thing. You know, TQM and business process design and redesign, they always said, get rid of redundancy. Redundancy is a bad thing. It costs you money. And again, if you know what you're doing, that is true. But if you're in a if you're an Apple computer or any of their competitors, or if you're the government responding to crises, um, you don't you don't know the future. You don't know how other organizations are going to respond. And there, actually, redundancy is useful. Again, you don't want a lot of redundancy, but uh, but having worked with networks, we find that the most effective and the most resilient and the most adaptable networks always have some redundancy. They have what we call alternate paths. So if the path from A to D is blocked, then we go to another path to, to get to D. And, and if you don't have these paths, then, then nothing happens, then everything stops. But in networks, you usually do have alternate paths, and that's what makes networks adaptable and also very good learning or organizations because you have multiple paths, you have multiple connections, you have people sharing information, and, and that all makes sense in an environment of not knowing the future.